So Basil, when did you begin teaching? I had no idea this was going to be about teaching. Good question. Are all questions good? Mm. Quiet over there. I began teaching at about the age of 15 or 16 when I was teaching older people how to do public speaking. And I was teaching kind of IBM executives how to go from being small IBM executives to being big IBM executives. They didn't know I was 15. I looked like this, more or less. Basil Eliades was hired by writer John Marsden to teach art at the Canterbury School in February 2006, right when the school first opened. When did you get this job at Candlebark? I can't help myself. A really good interviewer listens to the question and feeds off that. And it sounds to me, a faceless interviewer who is not on shot, that your questions have been written down beforehand as though you know what you're going to ask, which I find somewhat confronting because these could have been emailed to my secretary and she could have written them for you. Nonetheless, I will answer them as though you're asking me out of interest. Um, I got into, uh, I started work at Candlebark when John called me out of the blue. Um, I was working at Wesley at the time, so it was about six months before Candlebark opened and asked if I'd help him set up the curriculum for Candlebark. And I said, uh, wow, yes, that'd be great. Don't you want to see my resume first? And he said, yes. And so I started at Candlebark before it even had a name. And um, it's been an absolutely fabulous journey and honour and pleasure being there and working with John all the way through. But at the end of 2015, the Alice Miller School for Secondary Students was created and set to open for the following year. Why were you transferred to Alice Miller? Because I thought of Alice Miller, I thought of the idea of a senior school for Candlebark um, some years ago and with Jane, my partner, and wrote a letter to John saying, hey, we should have a senior school for the arts. And he went, great idea, let's do it next year. And it took me about four years to get off the ground. But when um, John eventually found the school and um, bought it and started the process, um, yeah, it was kind of uh, assumed that I'd be coming here, I guess, because it was my idea to take the arts to a senior school thing. Are you happy with the decision of being transferred to Alice Miller? Oh, great, challenging question. Yes, I love it here. I think this is fabulous. Um, I miss Candlebark terribly. I definitely really missed it, especially in the first couple of months. I felt bereft. I felt like I'd left home. Um, I came to love Candlebark deeply. Um, and being here is fabulous. And I think we are starting to become Candlebark-ish, but we have a little way to go as yet. Yeah, I forgot about that. Come on, you're better than that. No. We're not using sound in this show. Because we'll, right. we'll have you talking over it. <laughs> so it'd be weird if we had two talking basils at once. Yeah. Because then we wouldn't be able to tell which one's talking. As a why? Two battles! Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> yes. Even I am confronted by this notion. Are you filming now? Mm hmm. Yeah. Can I show you? I just need to go and get my computers. Sure. Yeah, look at this. Wouldn't we solve really about the computer putting in the computer? Yeah, I'm like, get out. Okay, well, 